Today we partnered with Daily's Paint and Decorating to learn how to refinish an old door and to make some simple changes that will add to the curb appeal of your home. Curb appeal is a way to tell the outer world what you're like. Red is a symbol of welcome. You're, you're inviting people in. And with this house, everything was very sort of monochromatic. So nothing was coming forward. This color was chosen to just give a little pop. And it really changed how the whole face of the house looks. There are three things to keep in mind for a successful door painting project. Prep, prime, paint. Break the bank and buy a $20 brush. The, the price difference is little and the quality difference and the way the paint will handle and flow is gonna make all the difference in how beautiful your project is gonna turn out. Step one is clean the glass on the doors. This sounds backwards, but you clean the glass before you do your painting project. Tape over or remove the hardware and the hinges and tape off the glass. Next, you're going to wash the door. I like Crud Cutter Pre-Paint Cleaner because it's non-toxic. Let it dry for about 15 minutes. Now you're going to sand your door. I know that sounds backwards. Like you think, wouldn't I sand it first and then wash it? You sand after you wash it so that you don't grind dirt into the door surface. Use 180 or 220 grit sandpaper. Now you're ready to prime the door. It can be a little intimidating when you're staring down a door. Where do you start? the best thing to do is think about your door in geometric pieces. So you're going to paint those cross pieces first. And you can take your roller and roll it on, and then you follow with your brush and you smooth it out, and then you paint the vertical pieces, and you do the same thing where you roll the paint on, then you tip it off with your brush. So if you break it down into little chunks, it doesn't seem like this big thing that you have to hurry up and get before everything dries. Let it dry four hours before you can start painting. The time between prime and paint has a lot to do with the weather. Mm -hmm. So you want to wait a minimum of 12 hours. Sometimes you want to wait 24 hours. Again, it gets back to letting that first layer dry and start curing before you put nice wet paint on top. We used C2 exterior paint in a satin finish. It's so inspiring to see what kind of changes that you can make to your home. And instead of looking at ideas on Pinterest, you're actually getting out there and making a real change. You can come into dailies not knowing anything about how to do your project. Everybody seems to have a cell phone camera these days. So bring in a picture and we can walk you through everything. I hope you come home tonight and you look at your home and you think, what could you do to create curb appeal? And then you've created layers of visual interest 